Hi guys, this is Rahul from Simply Learn, and today I'm going to tell you how you can become an AWS Solutions Architect. So, who is an AWS Solutions Architect? Now, the main role of an AWS Solutions Architect is to help you deploy your applications on the AWS platform. Now, this is nothing but a cloud computing platform. So, it's not to say that you can't deploy your applications on the cloud computing platform yourself. It's just that when it comes to organizations, the applications that you need to deploy become a whole lot more complex. That's where an AWS Solutions Architect can help. Ever since cloud computing became a thing, companies around the world have started migrating their physical infrastructure onto the cloud. That's what an AWS Solutions Architect does. They help you migrate your physical infrastructure onto the AWS cloud. Companies around the world work on a budget, and an AWS Solutions Architect will help design a cloud infrastructure based on the organization's budget. Before that can be done, however, an AWS Solutions Architect has to create a design with an intricate and detailed blueprint of the cloud infrastructure that they plan to set up. Now, AWS Solutions Architects also have to focus mainly on non-functional requirements like usability, reliability, scalability, and performance of the cloud infrastructure. They're also responsible when it comes to minimizing risks that an organization can face when it comes to cloud computing platforms. Now, they could face risks like security leaks, calculation mistakes, and application downtimes. An AWS Solutions Architect has to ensure that these don't happen. Before we can talk about how you can become an AWS Solutions Architect, I have some exciting news for you guys. We've launched our own YouTube community. You'll get to see a lot of quizzes, polls, offers, and much more to make your learning experience a whole lot more fun. You can find all of this on your subscription feed, or you can also click on the top right corner right now to get started. And let's get back to how can you become an AWS Solutions Architect. Now to become an AWS Certified Solutions Architect, you need to clear the AWS Certified Solutions Architect Associate Level Examination. Now here's some details about it. The exam score ranges from 100 to 1000 marks and the minimum passing score is 720. However, there's a catch. The passing marks are actually set using statistical analysis. So they can be changed based on how difficult the examination actually is. The exam fee is $150. And you can also take a practice examination, which costs $20. Now, regardless of the examination you take, be it Solutions Architect, SysOps Administrator, or Developer, any associate level examination costs $150. For the professional level examination, it's $300. Now, if you want to learn more about the AWS certifications, I suggest you click on the top right corner and watch our video AWS certifications in 10 minutes to learn more. Now, the exam duration is of 130 minutes, and you have two types of questions multiple choice and multiple answer. Now the multiple choice questions have four options out of which one of them is right and you have multiple answer where you have five options out of which two of them are correct. You can take the examination in English, Japanese, Korean and simplified Chinese. Now let's talk about how you can schedule an examination. First let's go to Google and search for AWS certifications. Click on the first link. So on this page, we can go to the bottom and find the different certifications AWS provides. Click on Architect and select the AWS Certified Solutions Architect Associate Certification. Click on Register Now. And here you need to click on the AWS Certification Account. You can sign in with your Amazon account or create a new one. I already have an Amazon account that I'll be using for signing in here. In case you don't, you can click on the create your Amazon account button here and create an account for yourself. Now after that is done, you can schedule new examination. And you can scroll down to the bottom here AWS Certified Solutions Architect Associate Level Certification. Click on Schedule Exam, press Continue. And here you need to select your language, which I'm assuming is English. I'm from India, so I don't need to change anything here, but you can change your country, your time zone, and other details based on your requirement. And select your preferred month. I want to do it in October. Now select search for exam center. Select the one that's closest to you. 
I'm going to select this one. And here you can select the day that you want to take your test and the time available. I want to do it on the 15th. I select the time that I want and press continue. Now you can go through all the details here, change them if you want to, otherwise you can press continue. After this is done, close. And here we have the final step, which is the fees. You can enter your details here and pay now to finish the process. Now let's look at an outline of the exam content. Now what you're going to see in the exam are five major domains. And here you have each of the domains with their respective weightages. First you have at 34% designing resilient architectures. At 24% you have both defining performant architectures and specifying secure applications and architectures. At 10% you have designing cost optimized architectures. And at 6% you have defining operationally excellent architectures. Now let's look at each of these domains in detail. Now the first domain or design resilient architectures can be divided into four parts. Firstly, you need to know how you can choose reliable or resilient storage using services like AWS S3, AWS Glacier and AWS EBS. Then you have how you can design decoupling mechanisms using AWS services. Now this is possible with the help of AWS SNS. Now these aren't the only services that enable this. These are just some of the services. Then how you can design a multi-tier architecture solution. Now this is important because you need to know how you can create a solution that involves several other services. Then you need to know how you can design highly available and fault tolerant architectures. Now for the second domain, defining performance architectures. First you have how to choose performance storages and databases. Services that are used are AWS RDS, AWS Redshift and AWS DynamoDB. The second step is how you can apply caching to improve performance. A service that can be used for this is AWS Elastic Cache. Third, how you can design solutions with elasticity and scalability. You have AWS Lambda, AWS CloudWatch and AWS Data Pipeline. Now for the third domain which is specifying secure applications and architectures, you need to know how you can secure applications using services like AWS Inspector, AWS CloudTrail and AWS IAM. You need to know how to secure data using Cloud HSM and AWS Macy and how you can define the networking infrastructure using CloudFront, VPC and Elastic Load Balancer. For the fourth domain, you have designing cost optimized architectures. Firstly, you need to know how you can design cost optimized compute solutions. You can use AWS EC2, Elastic Beanstalk, Lambda and AWS LightSail. Then you need to know how you can design cost optimized storage solutions using AWS S3, Glacier, EBS and Elastic File System. And the final domain to define operationally excellent architectures. You need to set up design features and solutions that enable operational excellence. Now some of the features are that you perform operations as code, you annotate documentation, you make frequent and small reversible changes and anticipate and tackle failures. Now let's have a look at the job opportunities when it comes to AWS Solutions Architects. Now if you have a look at this graph, you can see that AWS has always provided a lot more job postings as compared to the other two giants in the cloud computing domain, which are Microsoft Azure and Google Cloud Platform. Now if you do a little bit of research, you'll find out that there's a significant lacking of experienced personnel when it comes to AWS. So I would suggest this is the best time for you to get certified in AWS. So how can Simply Learn help you with your AWS certifications? Now we're on the Simply Learn homepage. And here we have the AWS Solutions Architect course. On this course, which is the AWS Solutions Architect Certification Training course, we have 36 hours of instructor-led training, 20 hours of self-paced learning, 16 live demos, 3 simulation exams, 3 hands-on practice projects and so much more. Here our main emphasis is on making sure that you have enough hands-on experience with the services that you crack the examination at your first attempt. So here we also go through some of the more important services that you need to learn like IAM, VPC, EC2, S3 and so much more. We'll also talk about databases, application services, security practices, disaster recovery and so on. We even have practice examinations to help you prepare for the real one. And with that, we've reached the end of this video. I hope you guys found this informative and helpful. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for more from Simply Learn. 
Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.